ni mmoja kati ya wanawake wa rembo sana katika mkanda wa East Africa. Ndio maana amewahi kuwa featured kama video Vixen na msanii mkubwa East Africa ambaye ni Ali Kiba. Kando na kuwa Vixen aliwahi kuwa radio presenter katika NRG Radio hapo ni kabla kwa mechi ni Tanzania ambapo kwa kipindi hicho alikuwa anamdate mwanamuziki wa kwanza kuwahi kufikisha views bilioni moja katika bara la Afrika, yani Diamond Platinums. Alafu baadaye walipomwagana tu alirudi nyumbani Nairobi. Sasa ameendelea kujikita katika mziki na ameonekana ku make moves kubwa kubwa sana. Kando na mziki wake kufanya vizuri, pia ameonekana akiishi maisha mazuri tu ya kista. Anatoa wapi pesa? Siri yake ya mafanikio ni nini na vipi kuhusu Diamond? Anyway, kabla tuendelee ama kabla tupige naye story tanasha na kuomba tu usikose kusubscribe kwa channel hii si unajua macha mpali media. Kila time habari zitakapokuwa zinachipuka wewe ndio kwa kwanza kuzipata. Bonyeza hiyo kengele hiyo button ya kengele hapo afu utakuwa unapata notification kila time ambapo tutakuwa tuna post exclusive interview na interview zile zozote zile za kijanja. Thanks for having me. It's an honor. Thank you. Asante oh, sana. Mm. Karibu sana. Mm. Okay, eh uh, wiki mbili tu umeachia ngoma ya sawa. Mm. Imeonekana kufanya vizuri sana. Hata kuna masuperstar wengine ama wasanii wengine wakubwa nchini Kenya ambao wamerelease ngoma kama wewe. Lakini bado hazijafika pale ngoma yako imefika kwa sababu so far video yako inafikia almost 1.5 million views. Mm. Lakini ukiangalia kama kina Tile Brown akina akina calligraph wanacheza kwa 400,000 views. Siri yako kubwa ni gani ambayo inakufanya upate ngoma yako ifanye vizuri? Um, naweza kusema kwamba ni ku invest kwenye visual zangu. Kwa ukiona visual zangu zote, video zangu zote mwanzoni nimezilipia zote all of my songs. Um, secondly, naisi kwamba ni important sana uchukue uwe 100% nyume ya project yako. Unajua mimi nikiwa studio na record niko hapo. Wakifanya mixing and mastering niko hapo hapo. Mm-hmm. When we choosing the beats niko hapo. Mood board zangu zote za video zangu zote mimi mwenyewe nazichagua. So I don't give the work to other people kusema kwamba aya when the video director fanya kitu chako. No, I make sure I'm 100% behind every single step of my project from instrumental to visuals to kila kitu. Hmm. So I think that's where some of us artists go wrong. Had to see mami project Z to 100%. We think that oh, we have a team we let them do the work. Yeah. Yeah. Ukisema hivyo ukisema kwamba ume invest katika visuals zako. Project hii video yako sawa ime cost kama shilingi ngapi? Video yangu ya sawa naweza kusema imepita milioni. Imepita milioni moja. Pesa Kenya. Kenya shillings. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, na pia ni kitu gani chingine ambacho kimekusaidia wewe ama kimekufanya ukue, ukue katika mziki kwa haraka zaidi kwa sababu pia ambacho najua ni kwamba uliokuwa Vixen mm-hmm. alafu pia ukao katika radio alafu ukawa msanii mm-hmm. ukaanza kuimba but growth yako imekuwa pakubwa sana na haraka sana je okay. ni kwa sababu ni vile ulikuwa associated na Diamond ama ni kwa sababu gani naisi kwamba hiyo ina play a factor as well lakini naisi kwamba breakthrough yangu imeanza sasa hivi kwa sababu watu wanaanza kuona what I'm really capable of na watu wana pole pole wanaacha kuni associate sana na the people I've dated na pole pole wanaanza ku kuni appreciate for what I'm potentially capable of so um, yes it may play factor that I dated him of course ili it's not 100% the reason I believe I believe people now pole pole wanaanza kuwa more interested in Tanasha Donna as a brand on her own Yeah. Yeah. Ukiwa Tanzania, ukimdate Diamond, ulikuwa tuseme hapo ulikuwa karibu sana ama ulikuwa ndani ya label kubwa sana East Africa. Ni kitu gani ambacho kilikufanya maybe usikuwe signed katika WhatsApp? Nilianza kuimba kitabu sana. Mhm. Nyimbo yangu ya kwanza ambayo nilitoa ilikuwa X and Iva 3 years ago. Yes. My official song that I came out with ili nilianza ku record way before that. Yeah. featuring very the storyteller. So wale ambao wamenifuata from the get go wanajua nilianza kuimba kitambo sana. Ili like he met me nilivyokuwa na project za EP already EP ambayo nilitoa this year. So yes, reason why ambayo sikuwa signed is because first of all we make two different types of music. Our was specialized on bongo type of music. I am more going into the international afro caribbean type of sound. Okay. You know. Okay, na ulikuwa Tanzania ukatoka. 
ulivyo toka kule Tanzania ulivyo kuja Kenya kwa sababu tunajua before ndio Tanzania huyu ulikuwa ni radio presenter alafu ukienda kule ulikuwa pia uko karibu na superstar mkubwa ambaye ako na hela vizuri ulikuwa na heshima heshima nzuri ya kistar lakini ulivyo kuja Kenya hatuja kuona maybe ukifanya kazi but ni kitu gani ambacho kinakupatia pesa kwa Kenya kwa sababu pia najua kwamba karibuni tu kama 3 3 3 months back uliweza kujinulia nyumba mm -hmm. unatoa wapi pesa so mwanzoni i'm doing a lot of endorsements na kampuni nyingi kuna kampuni nyingi ambayo nime partner nayo i can mention some of them kuna ziki media kuna infinix mobile phone kuna um there's a bonfire there's a lot of there's a lot of companies and endorsements that i'm working with right now pole pole pia tuko in contact na warner brothers and chocolate city as well kufanya collaborations to fault to fault uh globally so these endorsements are what keep me going a kuso nyumba si kuinunua no um we got a real estate deal ambayo we have a deal structure that um as to how nitakuwa na nyumba so i'm doing promotion for them as na nunua nyumba so yes na as i i'm in the process of buying it na construction in taishi itaisha next year 2021 that's when i'll officially be able to move in inshallah if god plans so so yes endorsements is what keeps me going promotions and and when we get these endorsements we believe in brand value lazima kila mtu aone brand value yako so it's very important to set your standards high as an artist you know there's so many amazing kenyan artists who don't set their standards high when i was when you know when i post 10000 shilling gift voucher and you're a big artist that's not where you put your value so god willing these endorsements have come through they've paid us millions which are helping us continue our projects so so it's all thanks to god nam ukijabo kwa kwa endorsements up maybe mimi mimi nataka uniendoze nika niko na biashara yangu fulani hapo kando kando nataka uniendoze yafanya ina kama shilingi ngapi hivi okay if you want me to endorse you yeah maybe my i have an, another business okay. inataka ukam through kama maybe the brand ambassador kitu kama hiyo okay it yeah. depends sasa because it had depend on the because first of all this year na launch product yangu ya kwanza mm -hmm. it's it's i don't want to talk too much about that it's a surprise but na launch in july end of july inshallah um it had depend on the product sasa for example niki launch let's say na launch lipstick obviously nitatafuta mtu ambaye atafit category ya lipstick you know makeup artists au yao makeup vloggers ambao wako wengi so it all depends alafu inshallah pia castro my team and i jamal we're making plans of god willing in the next 2 to 3 years kwanza tunataka kuzidisha brand it continues growing because we have a lot of collabs we're doing this year a lot of international collabs tunamaliza nazo this year and then slowly we want to build our brand to the point to tafungua a record label to shall re register company and everything so we want to open our own record label and empower a lot of underrated kenyan artists especially females kwa sababu wapo wengi sana Mm -hmm. Collab. Sorry? Collab zile ambazo maybe umepanga kuzifanya karibu ni collab kama nana na nana. Mimi nayo collab na Shensia. She's a big dancehall artist. Nice come on I'm doing. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'm even a tiger. Mimi nayo collab na artist mwingine wa UK and it's a big tops. Mimi nayo collab na Nandi. Niko karibu kutoa hivi karibuni. Um so yes, expect a lot of things. Mimi nayo collab pia with a Nigerian artist. I don't want to mention him right now but he's everybody knows him and and yeah inshallah things go as planned okay tukimalizia yeah. tu una miss diamond uh no mbona unasema una miss kama ulimchukia no sijawahi kumchukia na sitawahi kumchukia but do i miss him no i'm very happy to be honest you know sasa hivi maisha yangu niko niko kwa amani i'm very happy i have a great support system around me so that's all that matters do i will i always have love for him yes toy kum chukia wala nini you know and 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 that's how it will be because he's the father of my child what one ever can chukia or say what they want to say that's on them he's the father of my child i will always have love for him do i see myself getting back with him no do i miss him no nikitugana ambacho una miss tanzania as in tanzania in general oh i would say the food they have very good food amazing food uh, amazing people what wako wapole sana you know 
Waku very, yeah, they're very soft spoken as compared to us Kenyans, we're very aggressive, you know. Yeah, okay. Tumeshukuru sana kwa kugrace screen zetu za Machampali Media na maybe kabla tumalizie tu ule shabiki ama mtu yote pale nje unaweza kumwambia nini? Unaweza kumwambia follow your dreams nothing is impossible just work hard focus consistency na kila kitu kinawezekana otherwise thank you for supporting me and i hope you continue supporting me and i hope i don't disappoint you guys. Oi ndio hiyo tunakafunga si unajua kama kawaida usikose kusubscribe hii ni Machampali Media jungu kuu la habari za burudani na umbea wote ambao unatokea katika entertainment scene si Kenya tu bali East Africa kwa ujumla chao